بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد continuing on in our درس على قيد الوسطية we left off with Sheikh Sheikh Islam Ibn Taymiyyah he was talking about the Surat al-Mustaqim he was talking about that Ahlul Sunnah, the creed of Ahlul Sunnah is that they believe and describe Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as he describes himself in the Quran and the authentic Sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam and Shaykh al-Islam rahimahullah ta'ala he said فَإِنَّهُ سِرَاتُ mustaqim." For verily, it is the straight path. That the straight path is what? The straight path is the Ahlul Sunnah adheres to the Quran and the Sunnah for determining their the divine names and attributes of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, without distorting, without negating, without. Uh, making a resemblance between Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and His, crea- uh, his crea- creation and all of the various forms of ways of and various ways of distorting and negating Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's divine names and attributes. So he said, that's the Sirat al-Mustaqim, that's the straight path is by affirming what Allah affirmed, affirmed for Himself, negating what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala negated for Himself and affirming what the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam affirmed for Allah and negating what he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam negated about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala rabbil alameen and that qala shaykh al-islam rahimahullah ta'ala Surat Al-Ladina An'am Allahu Alayhim Mina Nabiyin Wa Siddiqeen Wa Shuhada Wa Salihin He began to give some tafsil, some details about what is this Surat Al-Mustaqeen that we're talking about? What is, what is, what is Shaykh Al-Islam referring to here when he says the Surat Al-Mustaqeen that this, that those who are affirming what Allah affirms and negating what Allah negates that they're on the Surat Al-Mustaqeen and who are they? Sheikh Salim bin Fazan mentions in his explanation of Aqidat Wasatiyah, he says, well, in reference to the Nabiyun, that this Surat, which Allah, a Surat al Ladina an'am Allahu alayhim min Nabiyin, that this is the path which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has bestowed as a blessing upon. Upon who? The Nabiyin. So first the, on the, the NBA and the Rusul, the messengers, alayhim afdal salatu wasalam, that they're first and foremost mentioned as those on guidance and on this Surat al-Mustaqim. And then he mentions the Siddiqeen. And they are those people who believed in the Messenger alayhi afdal salatu wasalam, who followed the messengers alayhim afdal salatu wasalam. They followed them, they believed them, they adhered to their sunnah, and they had ikhlas lillah. وَمَا أُمِرُوا إِلَى لِيَعْبُلُوا اللَّهُ مُخْلِسِينَ لَهُ الدِّينَ هُنَفَا And they were not ordered except that they have sincerity in their worship to Allah. وَشُهَدَا Meaning those who were martyred فِي سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ in the cause of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they were martyred, striving for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, fighting for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's religion to, to raise it up high, to defend the faithful. And all the various types of jihad, jihad and nafs as well. But this is referring to those who are martyred for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, in the cause of Allah wa ta'ala's deen. Rahimahumullah jami'an. Wa Salihin or Salihun. Those are those that refers to those who were fully adhering 
to the rights of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the rights of His servants by being respectful and kind and gentle, having good manners, calling people to the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam, advising, giving ad-deen and nasiha, and all those attributes which the Salihin have. But first and foremost is that they are adherent to the emir of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and they are first, first and foremost in their ibadah to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as, Allah, as the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said in the hadith of Mu'adh when him and Mu'adh radiallahu ta'ala anhu wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad were riding on a donkey and then the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam asked Mu'adh, he said Ya Mu'adh, atadri ma haqq Allah al-ibadi wa ma haqq al-ibadi ala Allah So Mu'adh ibn Jabal radiyallahu ta'ala anhu uh, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam asked Mu'adh, O oh Mu'adh do you know what the right of Allah is upon his slave and the right of the slave upon Allah is? And Mu'adh radiallahu ta'ala anhu replied, he said, Allah wa Rasuluhu a'lam. He said, Allah and his messenger know best. He said, Haq Allah ala ibadi and ya'buduhu. He said, in the right of Allah upon his slaves is that they worship him. Wa haq. Wa haq Allah, wa haq al ibadi ala Allah. And la yu'adhiba man la yushriku bi shayin. And that the right of the servant is that they are not punished if they worship Allah alone without ascribing any partners to Him and that they will not be punished for that. So there the Prophet wasallam clarified for us the right of Allah to Barak wa Ta'ala and the right of the slaves, the right of us as servants of Allah that if we adhere to Tawheed we worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone we don't ascribe partners to Him then if we adhere to pure Tawheed without committing any shirk then we'll be the inhabitants of Jannah bi'idhnillah, the jann Jannah to Firdaus and we won't be punished bi'idhnillah subhana so those are the salihin the, salihin, the salihun they are those who adhere to the ibadah full ibadah to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala not associating partners with him subhana and following his commands they're commanded by Allah and they follow the commands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and they also try to meet the rights of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's servants and His creation the rights that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given them, the divine rights and we ask Allah the Almighty to bless us to be of those who meet the rights of others and meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's right by worshipping Him and Him alone وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم